Time now is 5.04. Certainly you know that carbon monoxide is a silent killer. Unfortunately, we've seen tragic deaths caused by the odorless and colorless gas. They're really all too common, especially during the winter months. But now we're learning about some research that could lead to a potential antidote for carbon monoxide poisoning. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods has the story that's new this morning. That's right. Well, just two weeks after a local father and son lost their lives to carbon monoxide poisoning, we're learning scientists may have a possible solution. Back on December 7th, the bodies of Joseph Lopes and nine-year-old Colin Lopes were found inside their cushion at home. On the same day as that tragedy, researchers in Pittsburgh offered a possible antidote to their invisible killer. Using an altered version of a protein found in the brain called neuroglobin, scientists at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine were able to reverse the effects of a lethal dose of carbon monoxide in mice. Now, clearly, there is still a lot of work to be done with this, but a scientist working on this project told the Boston Herald that if this is approved, this could possibly put a life-saving antidote in the hands of first responders very soon, saving lives as well as money. In the newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.